The World Rally Championship is all about extremes. Extreme drivers, extreme machines and extreme conditions. Take the first round of the season, Sweden. When Mikko Hervonen was steering his Fiesta RS WRC to victory, the temperature tumbled to minus 28 degrees C. Yet on the Acropolis Rally in Greece, the mercury can nudge a sweltering 40 degrees. And remember, rally cars don't have air conditioning. It's not just the temperatures in WRC that are extreme. On Rally Jordan, the drivers race on tracks 420 metres below sea level. Across the Atlantic in Mexico, the cars climb to 2,737 metres, and that's almost a third of the height of Mount Everest. This is a seriously tough sport, and that's why the Ford Abu Dhabi team goes to great lengths to fine-tune Fiesta for each individual event. Today, the team has come to Ford's multi-million pound top secret test laboratory in Dunton, Essex. Why? Well, to see how the EcoBoost engine in new Fiesta RS WRC copes in a rarefied atmosphere. Now we're going to have a quick chat with Tim Jackson. He's Yari Matti Latvala's car engineer. Tim, what's going on in the chamber behind us? We're using the facilities here um, to make sure that we can maximise the performance um, for the high altitude. As you go increase the altitude, uh, the air density goes down and you really notice a, a drop in the performance of the car. So we're doing everything we can here to make sure that we, we help them optimise the performance. So how exactly can we tune the engine to cope with the thinner air at altitude? Generally it's regarding the mapping, um, so the fine tuning um, of the engine. And it's just these small tweaks that can have quite a big effect on the, how the car performs. Is there anything else we can do to the car to make it quicker? A lot of the uh, things we can do is adapting the driver to, um, to be used to the low engine performance. Um, things like braking distances and generally how the car will handle in these conditions um, is a major thing. We can also look at gear ratios and other things like that to try and keep ahead of the game. Ford's Environmental Test Laboratory is one of the most advanced facilities of its kind in Europe. It can simulate altitudes of up to 3,650 metres and wind speeds of up to 225 kilometres an hour. This test is a great example of how Ford, the car manufacturer, works with Ford Abu Dhabi World Rally Team. Let's grab a quick word with Gerard Quinn. He's Ford of Europe's motorsport chief. Gerard, Ford's played a huge role in developing Fiesta RS WRC. It really is a team effort. It is a team effort and it's, um, you know, what we are doing here today in the Environment and Test Lab at uh, Danton is part of that effort and it's a programme that we've put together throughout the year with um, M-Sport and Ford working together in collaboration to develop uh, the Fiesta RS WRC. So Ford helps the team, but it's not just a one-way relationship. But what can we learn from the team? I think there's a lot you can learn from the team. I mean, today we're, we've got the car in the climatic chamber behind us here, and the rally car is running on that today. Of course, the same chamber that we've used to develop the road car. So we will have comparative data to use at the end of our test today, and then we will look at that data, analyse it, and see how we can learn to improve the performance of both the rally car and the road car. Gerard, thank you very much. Right. We're going to let the guys get on with their job. They're very busy and they've got lots to do. If you want to find out more about the team and if you want to find out more about Fiesta RS WRC, then go to www.wrcford.com. See you soon.